Fact of the day. Fact of the day. Hello, hi, and welcome to Fact of the Day with me, Mark Lotsu. Cartoon horse health risk. So humans have always bred animals and plants for their desirable traits, like more milk or more wool or faster horses or better hunting dogs. But in more recent times, animals are being bred for simply aesthetic pleasure for how they look. This has led to animals suffering huge health issues due to reduced genetic diversity. For example, pugs and French bulldogs got flat faces and a very high risk of breathing problems. This means that they can often require surgery and emergency tracheotomies to help to alleviate the respiratory distress. These animals that are bred for their desirable characteristics, the aesthetics, they find that they start to have problems. They can't breathe properly, they can't exercise properly, they can't maintain their body temperature, they have problems in the eyes with diseases in skin folds, neurological disorders, spinal problems, just to name but a few. And this requires more trips to places like the vets. It now seems that horses are joining a list of exaggerated facial features that humans seem to think is appropriate for them to determine. One particular breed, Arab horses, have got a slightly dished face. Now these have become very popular, especially in places like the US, where there was a viral video released of a nine month old Arab colt which had a deformed upper frontal bone in its skull, which gave its head a concave shape. So one of the big problems with this is that horses are obligate nasal breathers, as in they breathe through their nose, not through their mouth. And having this shaped head has meant that it's gonna narrow the airways, narrow the air passages, so this horse isn't gonna be able to breathe properly, won't be able to exercise, but the horse in question is said to be worth millions because of how it looks. Because of how it looks, it's worth millions. Forget how much suffering it's under, it's worth millions because of how it looks. And owners are very quick to dismiss any concerns from vets or from animal welfare campaigners saying that they know what's best. So what can we do? The best thing to do is to educate people, educate owners, educate the public, and also educate famous people who want to have some of these unique animals as a status symbol. They have a huge influence on public buying power not just for clothes, but also for animals. And they know that if they then post pictures of them with this animal on Instagram, then the public is going to be, is going to want to get at that animal as well. And it's also to educate people who breed animals with specific physical characteristics, which will have to require medical attention to know that that isn't okay to do. It does make you question why show winners represent the worst characters of the breed. Why pedigree breeds are so popular when they come with a whole range of medical issues and pain for the animal. And why do we accept animal suffering as normal only for our desire to have something that looks cute? So if you're against animal testing, if you're against eating any, any animal products because you don't like cruelty to animals, look at the pets that you have, look at the breeds. Are there specific medical conditions associated with those breeds because of how they are bred? and you are therefore increasing the likelihood of more of them are being bred because there's a demand for them in the public. That is Cartoon Horse Health Risk. Thanks for watching. Love you, bye, love you, bye, love you, bye.